Hello guys, welcome back to another interesting video. Today we have the second developer preview of Android 15 for Pixel smartphones. Google plans to add some interesting features with Android 15 and today in this video, we'll talk about those features. Now before starting the video guys, we have 87% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 7a which I've already updated to the latest build of Android 15 which is developer preview 2. Going to about section, so if some of you guys are not aware, Android 15 is known as vanilla ice cream. This latest build comes with 5th March 2024 security patch. On the first developer preview, we used to see that V-shaped Easter egg of Android 15 but now with developer preview 2, we have got back that round shape and it's written Android 14 instead of Android 15. So this thing got changed. If you see the build number, that's AP31.240223.016.83. I was already running developer preview 1 so I received an OTA update and the update size was 1.03 GB. And guys, I won't recommend you guys to install it on your primary phones because there are some issues here and there which might affect your daily usage. First, let me tell you bug what I have encountered and the fix which they have done over the previous build. So if you guys have seen my previous video in that, if we used to go to Play Store and check for the updates for application, it never used to show if the update was available, we had to manually search the applications. But now that thing has been fixed. I did test out after installing the update and here you can see a screenshot. So this bug has been taken care by Google. And since I've installed developer preview 2, I keep getting this error, which says Google Play services keeps stopping. So as said, avoid installing it on your primary phone. You might see hiccups here and there on the developer previews. Now let's talk about some of the new add-ons and changes. So the first change, what you'll see, if you go to home settings, scroll down, there's a new option called app list setting, which lets you choose appearance and behavior of default application list. And under this, there's this feature called swipe up to start search. So whenever you swipe up for the app drawer, the keyboard will pop up, which lets you search the application. Another new add-on, what you'll find, and that's in the connected devices, there's a new toggle called audio sharing. If you see the description, it says, let other listens to your media along with you using their own compatible headphones. So we tried testing out this feature and it doesn't work. We also tried pairing multiple buds but still it's not functional right now and as you can see if I also enable it once and go back then again come back to this feature it gets automatically disabled and such things you'll obviously see on developer previews in upcoming or stable builds you might see these features fully functional if you guys know in past Google did introduce this webcam feature on pixel smartphones with Android 14 but that had the standard quality now with this latest build of developer preview you also get a toggle to enable HD quality and there's a noticeable difference in the picture quality too. So that's a good thing for the people who use their Pixel smartphones as a webcam. And another change what you'll see whenever you change the USB preferences, before it never used to ask anything, but now if you try to switch any USB preference, for example from webcam to file transfer or something else, you always have to authenticate your device. If you have set any pin, password or fingerprint. One major add-on, what you guys will find in future updates is the support of satellite messaging so here you can see if you search in the settings you do have an option of satellite messaging but it's not functional and I'm not sure whether this thing will make it to India in other countries you might get to see this feature in action I'll also show you an article from 9 to 5 Google in which they have shared the screenshot in the status bar you'll get to see satellite network name and there is also a notification which says auto connect to satellite and there are two toggles towards the bottom side one is open message and second one which lets you know how it works there are also other changes done for the developers and under the hood settings you guys can read out this article to know every change done with android 15 i'll leave this article link in the description below and most of you guys must be aware that whenever we used to long press and go to the app info here we used to see a toggle called open but now that has been changed to archive and the open toggle have been moved towards the top side. Now with Android 15, you can archive downloaded apps on your phone in order to save some space on your smartphone. And if you have archived any of the application, you'll see the archive icon on the particular app icon. Just simply tapping on it, it will again download the app from the Play Store. And under app special access, you'll find this new toggle called change media output. After that, under network preferences, there's new toggle which says allow WAP network, which is the oldest security protocol and it's less secure. So if you don't want to compromise on the security, you can just disable it by default, it's enabled. And the last change, what you'll see that's under the developer settings, which says disable default frame rate for games. So if you enable this toggle, 
this will disable the limiting maximum frame rate for games at 60 hertz and you can enjoy higher frame rate in the supported games so guys these are all the changes with the android 15 developer preview 2 if you guys have any kind of questions let us know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video